Hi guys, it's Miss Clark here from Milam. We're gonna do a lesson this week on color. Warm colors versus cool colors. And I think you know what warm colors and cool colors are. And I just wanted to show you my cool background with all the colors Ooh, and all the patterns. It's very cool. Okay, so we're going to do a project really quick. It's actually gonna probably take you a while because we're gonna use colored pencils Yay! And, um, okay, let's just get started. Okay, for this lesson, you're gonna need a paper, your colored pencils, and a pencil. Okay, so you're gonna trace your hand in the middle. Um, you wanna spread your fingers out, because that would just be weird. And you're gonna use your arm. Let me see if I can get the arm. Yep, the arm's on there. Now on mine, I want to do my finger like this and I wanna have a heart. I wanna put a heart inside of mine. So I'm just gonna, you, you can do your hand flat if you want to, or you can do it like this and put a heart. You'll see what I'm doing. So tracing your hand. Okay, Ooh, it looks a little funny where my watch is. Okay, and so then I'm gonna just put a heart there because why not, that's cute. Okay, so our goal is to create a sense of movement in the background and we're gonna fill the hand with pattern also. Okay, so a sense of movement in the background and pattern on the hand. So we're doing a few more things other than just color okay so there's a pattern um, here's a pattern doesn't have to be perfect um, I could do another I could do a diamond we're kind of doing I'm doing concentric shapes which is cool you could do that and it makes a pattern it's kind of overlapping um, you could do wavies. Okay, you get the idea. And then your background, if you wanna use continue from um, some of the patterns you did inside of your hand, is cool. But what we want is a sense of movement. So a sense of movement means we're gonna make lots of big strokes and excitement okay so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna leave my heart solid because I'm gonna make it just a solid so it's really anything goes here this is up to the artist and that artist is you very good okay now you can also do some curves For your movement, I, you see the, there's a lot of movement going on here. I'm going to do another pattern inside of my hand. Chevron lines. And I can just extend my lines to create movement here. Um, I want to go ahead and add some, finish the patterns on my arm. Sorry, my talking is not so well while I'm trying to draw at the same time. I'm usually a, a silent drawer. <sighs> or a singing drawer. Okay, so you see that the hand is starting to blend in with our background a little bit, yes? Also, if you could do two lines close to each other, you'll see why soon. So you're just filling the whole page with a movement and action for the background and a pattern for your hand. Okay, now the way we're gonna be able to see the hand and um, opposite from the background is because we are going to use color. Finally, color is coming into play. And we're going to have the hand be warm colors and the background be cool colors, okay, only. So hopefully you have at least 24 
um, colored pencils. So I'm gonna pull out the warm colors, which are reds, Woo! reds, oranges, and yellows. You can even use this orange, this orange. This will make it more fun. There's a debate on pink. Mm, I'm gonna use this pink. And I'm gonna use this more purpley pink for the cool colors later. Okay, so I'm gonna use these colors and I'm gonna paint, color the hand, okay? Then the background colors are the blues, the greens, I'm gonna use this purple. I can hear my dogs playing. And a dark purple and a dark blue. Oh, and the teal green and the grass green. So these are gonna be all the background colors, okay? Now, I'm gonna color this and I'm gonna do it on speedy time so you don't have to listen to me talk. Here we go. <laughs> 